better start from BDB. And even though it's his main, I feel like I would go in, make another Kelvin me this time as a sword fighter, just to give Beast the, the, that those wasn't aware, He wasn't aware of attack. BDB wasn't aware of attack. But we're going to see Beast open up very strongly as well, trying to continue with the Squirtle as well. Setting up with this ledge trap as well, but oh, Brad reversing the ties with the up B. Good stuff. Yeah, and right now, I love that bite. Like, just not fast falling, slowing down the pace of the game, and just basically baiting Beast to kind of rush in with that rush down character of Squirtle. Oh, now keeping Beast at ledge. Continuing this pressure, and I love again the slow, measured pace with this Wario. He's not necessarily trying to find long combo strings and risking getting reversals against the character's explosive as Pokemon Trainer, and instead is just willing to react, right? Ooh. Force Beast to get a little antsy and just call him out over and over again. Brad's coverage at the ledge has been looking dangerous tonight. I, this is the first time I've watched him on play, but. That coverage was very nice, but Beast looking to cover Brad right now. But that Brad was the reversal of the down air. That okay. was an insane route back to stage, going all the way out with the bike, really abusing Wario's absurd air mobility, and then finding that soft spike on the down air, one of the hardest things in the game to land, to boot. Now, the whacking on the damage, putting it on. He is clapping him right now, Snivy. Be backing this percent on and 20 per seconds away from a waft. If BD Bean can close out the stock, this one could get scary quick for Beast. Everybody clap your hands for the hero. We already know Beast hanging around town looking to shut down the dreams of Brad right now with that down air, but that's our first stock. Looks to continue off the up air conversions as well. That's Finally, a lot of damage. Looking mad clean right now. Now, before that gameplay was looking a little bit shaky, but right now, Beast is starting to get it all together. Yeah, Snivy, I was going to say, are we about to see a zero to death, but no. BD being able to find his way out of dodge, back down to the ground, and now has a advantage state of his own. That being said, overextension, he's gonna hit the tech though, allowing him to get back, not gonna find the up smash, and now having to get out of the corner against Ivysaur can be so scary. He's not managing to do it just yet. The coast to coast, and now the Zards come out, it's go time. Yeah, Brad looking to play some go time of their own. There we go, setting up for this ledge trap as well. Looking to cover Beast with the back air with a good old slap, but still maintain that patience, but oh, running a little bit too soon into that down tilt. Ivy, do you smell what I smell? Do you see what I see? Looking oh, at the I clock, see. this warrior is flashing yellow and white, which means, guess what? Wop is online. I one falling there could be it in when you've got some stage to work with, but at ledge, it's just gonna opt into a fully 40%. The bike stuff that these New Jersey Warriors are known for coming out to its fullest, but now one more stock, 60% separating them. Waft online, Beast gonna get caught by the up till even after the nerf and not gonna get the chance he was looking for. He played himself back into it, but that's where his luck ran out. One touch is all you need. Up tilt to the waft, baby. Just. One of w M Wario's many potent kill confirms off of that to just get into WAP. That's going to be going to game one for Brad here. Not switching up to anything. No little oh, Measor Fighter. Well, that is true, but you know, Brad has Measor Fighter in the pocket. Might want to get up a little bit of experience. But he is currently sitting in the loser side and definitely wants to make that progress still in bracket. And this is best of three territory, so if he claims that next game, the set is going to him. That being said, right, he's picking up right where he left off. You mentioned his gameplay earlier on tonight, both on winner's side and in the first half of that game one. Looking a little sloppy, but cleaning it up there with a quick 50. That being said, he's gonna get reversaled off the ledge. BD Bean with a huge juggle to even things right back up. And Snipe, these players just going at it. Yeah, they are both very aggressive, especially in these ledge trap situations, and just trying to just win these neutral interactions is always a very explosive advantage state, and we're seeing Beast trying to just get the grab off the Razor Leaf. He is going to be oh, finding no. that stock off the down air. Okay. Yeah, he called that air dodge out from BD Bean, trying to use the jab to maybe set up a platform tech chase specifically on DI out. That being said, Beast wasn't going to give it to him, and being in center stage, you just get no follow-up in that on that stage position. BD Bean has had a lot of really good attempts on, but his stage positioning has been just a little off to find the optimal confirmation for what he wanted a lot of the time.
Yeah, and Beast capitalizing right now on that with the Ivysaur as well. Able to control so much of the stage space. Locked this game down in his favor as he's currently up a whole oh. life lead as well. And maybe another stock here, but no Brad. Able to find their way out from the ledge. And this might be a stock, but hold on. You're going to be chilling off the bite as well. <laughs> and the sun almost taking it. Yeah, but it does, you can fly all you want. But these blast zones are too big to fly all the way to the blast zone, Snivy. They're not blasting off again just yet. Haven, hold, or sorry, BD Bean holding on to his stock for dear life right now. Now trying to make it happen, trying to find a way. I love the backer attempt, but it's gonna come up just short. Or he needs to close this stock out. He is a full one down and not gonna do so. That time the seismic toss gonna take it and Snivy one more stock for BDB to turn this one around. God, a Charizard with all this rage, all this damage. I am so fearful because I already know one touch from Beast or maybe a grab or something that might be at the end, but Brad quickly shutting down that second, that first stock from Beast. Beast still going very strong with the Squirtle right now, trapping with the Water Gun as well, forcing Brad to take that hive, but getting scooped up by the Command Grab. That's going to be a little bit of damage for Brad his way, but it's still, it's not going to be enough to escape this ledge. Yep, and forced to go high there because Beast was kind of threatening in position to find that down air that he's looked for so many times before. Beast, or sorry, BD Bean's aerial drift mix up here have been beautiful to find his way out of dodge over and over just with movement alone and the falling up air waft. He's going to bring it back to last talk, but without one online, now two minutes and nine seconds after that bite comes out till you get another one snivy. The question is, can he hold on long enough to find it? Or is it gonna be the end of the road for BDB? Yeah, BDB was forced to use that waff in that situation because he was just down so bad in terms of life and lead as well. And Beast not staying with the Squirtle to try and fish for some down tilt kills, but staying with the Ivysaur with a very explosive kill power kind of game, trying to kill off this down air as well. Brad is able to find their way back and just take control of that center again, looking to find their way on in. And he tried to call out that switch. He knew it was coming, but was just a little bit quick on the draw. Uh, Beast played it for the last moment, but the, with the parry so on point from BD Bean, he's been able to find these bites, play himself right back into a last hit situation. 149, he's got rage of his own, but is it enough to survive this seismic toss? No, it is not. The up throw from Zard gonna do it, Snivy. Be shaking it off. He can, he can see the stress coursing through him there, but he's evened it up at 1 1. We've got one more game out here on the line to see who wins that counter pick advantage. Yeah, both of them are really stressed right now. Brad and Beely signaling for that run back onto PS2, already knowing that he has the game plan. He already took that first game. You know, let the second one slide a bit. He can definitely clean it up. But we already know that from that second game that this that display that Beast was putting on with his gameplay, it was tightening up. The game plans were starting to form. But is he going to be able to keep that tempo kind of going on to this game yep. three? And wow, beautiful DI from BD being there up and away to avoid getting put in that tech chase situation, not allowing Squirtle to continue the combo. Still though, when Squirtle carries you that horizontally that fast, you're just in the corner, you're at ledge, and now you've got to deal with Be Beast's impeccable ledge trapping. He's only, he started off slow earlier on, but as the set's gone on, Ooh, every single stock he's gotten better in the trap block. That is gonna be it, Snivy. What a start from Beast. Yeah, that a quote. Not even, not even a zero death, but 20 and might as well. Damn, B. Brad looking to quickly finish off Beast at this corner. Just can't let him have to run the cycle, rinse and repeat. Do not let this Ivysaur in, but Beast finding their way in with the back air. Brad able to get a little bit of an air in, trying to chase on the platform as well, and beautiful bite to set it up once again. Absolutely, he's found so much off of these bites throughout the entire set. And, and regardless of everything else, whether it's a parry, whether it's the ability, using the bite to put you on platform, I feel like BD Bean's bite mix-ups have really been the X factor for him in this set. Yeah, Brad has not really found a lot of kind of explosive options we traditionally know him for with the bikes. Popped out a wheelie just a few times, but it wasn't a whole lot to make a really big difference. And right now, he's just still looking to find this first stock from Beast, but Beast playing so careful outside of this range from Brad. And Quickly responding to his options as well. That was a really nice up tilt to just intercept him coming on in. Yeah, and honestly, Beast's micro adjustments, right? For example, earlier on, we just saw that up, that upward angled F smash to avoid the down tilt was so smart. And he started mixing in these grabs in center stage, trying to call, call out and successfully doing so. A lot of BD Beans, uh, 
attempt to change the pace of play, slow things down a little bit, find these grabs to put him back in the corner, and that's really been the difference maker here for Beast in games both two and Boogie. Now down to his last stock, Waft online, but once again, BD being back against the wall here. Yep, still, you're staring down a big, scary lizard with 138, all that rage, down till dash attack, not gonna do it quite yet, but the bike, giving a little bit of damage right in the kisser for this Charizard, and looking to just hold it down. Bike, hold it down the neutral, my friend. Go get that kill! And you were saying we hadn't seen anything from BDB about the bike. Like, that man took it personally, because that's <laughs> that was a clinic right there. He tried to find bike in a nair, missed it a little bit, and said, you know what, Snivy? Just for you, I'm gonna show off. Um, All right, that's what we love to and see now, here. And now, Waft online here, he's got a chance. This could be it if he can find the falling up air, but somehow Beast getting away back down the stage, racking up the percent, and Snivy, I might be running out here for Mr. BDB. Uh, this is very smart from Beast, honestly. Staying with the Squirtle, that it's very hard to kind of just scoop up this character due to how small they are. You can see Brad trying to get a falling up air, trying to get an up tilt, but it's not working. This character is too damn small. Yeah, but not only was he small, he ducked under it. He <laughs> literally crouched to, to shift his hurt box to avoid that falling up air, and BDB just not able to find it. His momentum has started to sputter. Beast has made those adjustments caught him on that play, pace of play, and Snivy, it's only a best of three here because we're in loser semis, which means unfortunately, right on unfortunately, Beast is going to, or sorry, Beast is going to get his set against Jackal. Oh, it's going to be BD Bean ending out the night at fourth place. Fantastic run from him, but with the way that set started, you know he's not happy. Yeah, Brad had such a very explosive start to that set. He was literally covering Joel on all fronts at the ledge and in that center as well i imagine we're gonna be starting up really quick here and you know his um his waft conversions i always just i always love how brad kind of uses waft he has like the extra layer mix of, of like will i use it will i not use it but he always knows like when he has to buckle down if he's down a whole life lead or not or if he just has to use it in that instant he will let it rip yeah i'm gonna be honest man the way he was just pulling them today the second he got the first opportunity it was partially because he was behind but you know BDB has been eating his garlic recently. Hey, that being said, we're not going to see any... I don't think we're going to see too many surprises here from Jackal here against Beast. I I don't think we're going to see anything other than this Pokemon trainer come out from Joel. And Jackal, I think we are going to see the cloud to start, we, would okay. be my guess. We might see something. We we might see something Snivy, from Joel. tell Joelle. me a little bit what he's cooking. I, I honestly don't know what they're going to well, go really. I was well, gonna say, we, well, like with Beast, right? He plays a few of the spacey characters. He played Fox in Smash 4, and he still carried it into it with Ultimate to a lesser extent. Yep. But he has the Falco that he's been trying to work on as well, trying to get a lot of gameplay up. Much like a lot of people are doing here tonight, 